Looking forward to it. I'm gonna look around for a moment. Why did I got five renegades? Just need to finish up here at clinic. Won't take long. Beach you at your ship. Looking forward to it. We're heading out. See you on the Normandy. go to docking bay or like the building because I kind of want to go to the building really we still have to go to afterlife welcome to the Normandy professor it's an honor to have you on board yes very exciting Cerberus working with aliens unexpected elusive man branching out maybe not so human centric don't kid yourself professor humans still come first in the elusive man's eyes but this mission is too big for them to handle alone the Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No. Spreads too slow. Airborne virus? No. Slower than gas. Drugged water supply? No. Effects not simultaneous. Intriguing. Fascinating. No distress calls, no signs of resistance. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? The ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board. Non-human crew members. Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology. Need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. <laughs> I like Morden. He's fun. I mean, seriously. Okay, open the door. So, which way is out? Hello, Jacob. I think that this might be out. Yay, it is out! First of all, Morden's hello? psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. <laughs> I like He's him. He's going to be a very productive member of the team. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay. I'm going to talk to Morden at first. Hey! Don't get me trapped! Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas on other ideas, ways? Ideas, yes. Prepare? Expensive, but possibly valuable. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with. Plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with Plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. 
studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I met him. I worked with an STG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard Kirihi died on Vermeer. Not enough equipment for operation. Still managed to take down facility. Good captain. Dedicated. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. <laughs> Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. <laughs> Hold the line! We held the line! Okay, Morden's definitely an awesome member of the team. Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan Rebellion's bloody, dangerous, nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth, political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked, population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions, needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon, nothing to worry about. Uh. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Salarian science team, deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago, affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for a high Krogan birth rate, stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. That's bad. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. I don't agree with Jennifer. Oh, and that you're awesome. Uh, yay! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Somebody said to investigate something. Okay. I'm just upgrading everything we can. We'll need lots of upgrades, trust me. Where is this going to, anyways? Oh, back here, okay. And, anyways, we need to announce to those people that we got their. Thingies. You know, good stuffs that allow you to work easier. That would save them some time. Found them. I've got green across the board. The forward tanks are buoyant and elevated. Are you talking about the Normandy or Miranda? I'm talking about the one that's covered and protected, not bouncing in the breeze. <laughs> I don't know. Operative Lawson's uniform is very official. It always makes me stand at attention. You're such a dog. <laughs> You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some skilly and five poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The Commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Oh, boy. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. My Skillion 5's a bit rusty. You'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. <laughs> so worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me up my own game. You're all right, Shepard. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my crew's nice. What can I say? I beat them, by the way. <laughs> Yay! Okay, anyone else wants to talk with me? Okay. Crew. That side. Obviously. Didn't get your brandy, didn't get your stuffs.
Commander. What can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. I'm just interested. It's like a lucid man, your lover or something. You're, you're kind of very attached to him. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. Talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Who exactly is your father? A businessman. But a very wealthy one. It's ironic. My father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus. Before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus. Through my father's connections. Talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be Maybe. used. I like to know where I fit you in You are who you are, Miranda. That's easy for you to say. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Fair Thanks enough. for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. I wish to know what Anytime, I could Commander. do for you. Not like a chat. But oh, you have a nice bed. Oh, I can't climb out there. Am I the only one with a suit equipped with a bathroom? I mean, seriously. Chris doesn't have one. Okay. Don't have absolutely anything else to do in here, so we will talk to Jacob, maybe. For that, we will check my own messages. And then we're sort of done for today. Commander, I've done further investigation regarding your facial scarring and an old adage of mind over matter holds true. Negative attitudes and aggressive acts created adverse reactions with your cybernetic implants while peaceful thoughts and compassionate actions promote healing. If you maintain a positive outlook, I believe your facial scarring will heal on its own. Otherwise, there is a surgical equipment we could use to insulate your cybernetic implants and accelerate your healing regardless of your mental outlook. I updated plans for the new medical equipment to your research terminal in the tech lab. Okay. That's nice. I remember this from the first game. That's something different. I mean, this is awesome. We open the door. Elevator use. I mean, the soundtracks are awesome from both games, and both games are equally awesome. It's like, you're rarely as lucky. 
really lucky to get a sequel as good as the first game and even better when the first game was rocking. Okay, hello, Jacob. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight and we're getting things done. We keep on track and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? I heard you were big in the Alliance. Figured we have something in common. I did some things that caught attention and stirred up the Citadel. That was after the Alliance put me on leave, though. Didn't drive a Mako through a relay or take down a Reaper, but you covered that. Yeah, you look like you came through no worse for wear. If nothing else, the Alliance trains their people well. Once you live that life, you can't sit around getting fat. Most of us didn't get a Cerberus rebuild. They outdid themselves with you. I would say that in that shot, upgrades. my arms are kind of weird. I don't know if I would be keeping it that still if I'm, you know, bending, like, very next to the table and everything. I'm glad enough they restored me to stock. Couldn't hurt to keep some spare parts handy, though. I hear that. Your job isn't getting any safer. You know, I used to wonder what the big deal with you was. But now that we're in deep, I'm glad it's not me in the spotlight. There's no hiding, Jacob. Not for any of us. Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. Fair enough. Let's do bargain. Not bad. So, yeah, people. Thank you for watching. See you the next time. I have no idea what we will be doing the next time, but we will certainly be doing something. It's like there's lots to do. So, yay. By the way, can I actually level myself? I can level myself. Well, that's nice. I think I will be, you know, waiting for longer, though. Before leveling myself. I'm a level 5 sentinel. I was level 38 before I entered the game, so blah. But anyways, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.